Hello everyone, as you can see this is HP Prodesk 600 G1 small factor PC. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot, of course in legacy format. So first of all what you need to do, we should have one of the USB thumb drive which is ready. If you don't know how to create then you can check the video link would be in the description. Uh, as soon as you have then you can connect into USB port and then we are get ready. Now it says no option to boot, okay. Uh, which is quite fine. This it seems like there is no operating system into the hard drive or failure So at that moment, we're gonna turn this off and switch back on All right, so press and hold the power button as soon as it's turned off completely Then we are ready to reboot it So press the power button as soon as you press come back to F10 or more probably ESC button so press ESC button as you can see it says and once you pray the, uh, press the ESC button it's going to give you startup menu like that okay and from here we have many options to get into but our focus is get into computer setup which is BIOS by pressing F10 or going down through the arrow key and hit enter as soon as you hit enter you're going to see this ordinary BIOS page now, if you would like to get into legacy boot, what you have to do first, you need to get into the actual security option, which is the third one. And then from here, if you go down to the menu, which is secure boot configuration, hit enter, and then you can see it says the legacy support disabled, right? We need to make it enable. But what happened is, in here, this is a little bit tricky. If you hit enter or press the right arrow, it would not change until you turn off the secure boot option, which is the second one. As you can see, the error message again and again. Now, if I go to the second option and secure boot, if you make it disable, exactly now, we can change legacy support from disable to enable, as you can see now. It's all fine. We can press F10 to save it and pretty much that's all and let's go into the boot order and change another option okay this storage options also all fine we don't need to do anything leave it as it is as soon as you see like that and then go to boot order and check now currently this is selected by default in uefi boot sources that we are doing in legacy right so we have to get into legacy mode and hit enter to save it which is that one. Now F10 to save this and it's all done. You see? Okay. Now we can exit, save changes and exit it. Make sure you do that. Otherwise it would not be saved. And then system would restart. You don't need to do anything. It should be absolutely fine. And the PC would boot up from the bootable thumb drive automatically without any issue. It takes a little bit of time, uh, it's going to make you disappointed, maybe first few seconds, but don't worry. Follow the screen instruction, press any key to boot up from this USB, then press any key. And now it's going to take a little bit of time, as you can see the cursor is blinking. So finally we are here as you can see it shows the Windows setup page which is pretty simple from now on we just need to hit next follow the screen instruction choose whatever you want to choose about the language time and currency and everything anyway I will keep this one in my rest of the video you can see until it finish and get the setup successful by then if you have any question leave it in the comment section and I'll hope you in the next one thanks for watching Alright, so from here there is a little advice if you delete it, you're gonna lose all the data so make sure you do have the backup if you would like to keep the previous data 
before you get into this point. And if you don't want any data, you can do the clean installation. You can just hit on delete and format the drive and that would give you a clear installation. Try to remember one thing in here, after every restart it's going to tell you press any key to boot it up from the USB. Please not try to do this because if you do that it's going to go to the beginning point and start from the zero again, okay? So just avoid it and every single restart it will take a little bit of time until you get to the finalized, the actual setup. So finally all done. It took such a long time. The reason is this machine does have 3.5 inch SATA hard drive rather than 2.5 inch SSD. All right. So the actual time for this setup, it depend on which configuration that you have, uh, you know, in your machine. If you do have a much more strong configuration, the time would be much lesser than that one. And if not, then it takes like about 40 minutes. It depends, you know. And still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you do like it, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.